and we are back here on BCB Live, the safest station in the nation. And we have Clara here, co-founder and head of growth at Carrier Source. How are you doing, Clara? I'm so good. I'm so honored to be here. Well, it is, it is a pleasure. It's really not that big of an honor. We try to make it sound like a lot bigger deal than it really is. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know we try. You <laughs> All right, Clara. First, I, I look, I want to just find, I just want to start off real quick. What is Carrier Source? Absolutely. So Carrier Source is really the easiest way to explain it is it's the Yelp of trucking. So um, it's a website where we have a profile for every interstate carrier out there that is listed on our site and people can come and write reviews and those carriers can come and claim their profiles and kind of uh, take back their narrative and share their story on that profile. Clara, do you guys also have like an award, like you uh, award the, 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 the best carriers, the top carriers and all of that? We, ha we don't have that yet, but we do have a carrier source score on, on, the, on the site, which you, based on the reviews you get, you can get a higher carrier source score. Uh, but we I'm, don't have any best of lists coming out I, yet. I, I think we should. I think you should be giving t-shirts away, right? You know, like best, best carrier of the year by carrier source. Right, and then you know, best supporting carrier of the year. But you know, I mean, you, you should have like and little trophies. I don't know what they would look like, maybe like us, but you should have like little trophies. You can make them like the, his bobblehead that person on his uh, on his shirt right there, that uh, that extraterrestrial <laughs> thing. I so. love that. We were thinking like truck decals too, like best carrier. You can throw it, you know, a bumper sticker up on your truck. That would make a little bit more sense. <laughs> <laughs> So here it says, um, it, and by the way, I've got a notation here to congratulate you on being named co-founder uh, over there at Carrier Source, right? Is that right? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. So uh, our my CEO, Rob, he, a couple of years ago, he was looking around the industry and he, he just saw that there was no way for carriers to get positive feedback online. You know, there's, there's Carrier 411 and Freight Guard reports and and the TIA watchdog, which it, which is good and, and important for the industry, but there wasn't really anywhere where carriers could show off all the good hard work they were doing. Um, so we all came from this company called G2.com, which in the software world is, is kind of the Yelp of software. As <laughs> you see where there's a trend in what we're building and moving with us. Um, so we, we have this background in reviews and we've seen the power that uh, a review can be for a small business and the power that reviews have. Um, so we wanted to take that to to an industry that doesn't really have a place for for trust and tra transparency between brokers, shippers, and carriers yet. All right. So so since entering into this industry, I, I need to hear. I mean, what has been the big surprise things that that you've learned or or discovered maybe even in trucking? Absolutely. Um, so I think yeah, my background is is fully reviews and fully software tech. So I've, I've been in this industry now for for five months, and it's it's been. Very interesting, and, and one of the things that I found that surprised me the most is, is there's a lot of a lot of distrust and a lot of um, I feel like people are ready for the other person to screw them over. Like you come into a conversation sometimes, and it's like like whether it's like the the broker who doesn't trust that the driver is going to get the goods to where they need to be, or the shipper that doesn't think the carrier is going to do what the broker said. Like it's all no nobody's trusting each other. So so that lack of that lack of trust is, has been striking to me for sure. Yeah, you know what? We see that a lot. We hear it, um, you know, even on the show here when we talk to, to people. One issue that has really created, and I think this year more than ever, are the, uh, and, and I'm curious if you have any feedback, and again, going off script here, but going on the feedback from, from that double brokering, from carriers maybe dispatching out of a, a foreign country, or just purely doing it as a fraudulent thing, acting as a company, dispatching and taking that load and dispatching it to somebody else. Are you hearing some feedback on that? We certainly are. We, we get a lot of reviews, not a lot, but quite a few reviews that are like double broker, do not use. Um, and you know, if you're, if you're a carrier and you get one thing that says you double brokered, like you can maybe take an opportunity to respond to that review and be like, here's why this isn't what this person is saying and, and we're actually great, et cetera. And then you have nine other positive reviews to show that you're doing what, what you do. Um, but if you're a, bro a carrier and have 10 reviews that say double broker, like, no, I'm not going to use you. Like, I'd be crazy to use you. Uh, is there a, so being new to this industry, I'm just going to keep going. So on the marketing side, I mean, is there a worse marketed 
um, industry than the trucking industry. I mean, we're not very good at it still today, I don't think. No. What are your thoughts on that? I, I mean, I think it's been interesting from, from my standpoint of I'm trying to market to carriers and to brokers and to shippers. So it's been very interesting coming from a field where I was marketing to people who were marketing software coming now to this. It's, it's a lot of emails and a lot more phone calls uh, than, I, than I've ever been used to. You know, it's, it's much more... Um, it feels like it's about like 10 years behind of, of where some of the other industries have moved on. And it's such a critical industry for the world and for, yeah, for globally that it's it's crazy that it is uh, uh, still back there. So I'm excited to, for us all to come and industry. You know, and, and, and speaking to the, the distrust factor and, 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 and not trusting the other guy and always worried about you're going to get messed over, we kind of keep all the information secret, right? I mean, I don't want to... I don't want to tell you my gems because I'm afraid you're going to go take my gems. I don't want to give you the good information because I, I feel like that's proprietary information, right? When when really it's just public knowledge, but yeah. but I feel good about yeah. it. And I'm going to even go on this sometimes because we got messed over by this carrier. Hey, listen, I want you to go through the same <laughs> hell that I had to go through so we don't even report it then. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather just stay out of the limelight. I don't even want anybody to know how bad they got me. It is something that's been really interesting is when we're talking to these brokerages and they do treat carrier information like that proprietary knowledge, like like it's, you know, like it's theirs. And it's like, no, that's like a carrier wants you to know what truck types they have so that they know whether or not you can use them. Like it's not yours. It's, it's like you, anyone could call up the company and ask them what truck types, but it, it's so like secretive and mysterious. Do you see that? Do you, and, and obviously, with what you're doing over there at Carrier Source, is you're you're allowing um, which much different than the other watchdog. You're actually allowing the good information to spill out a lot. You know, like like I'll tell you, like my file over in HR, it's just full of the negatives. I don't have any of the positives in my file. <laughs> when it the, happens, I promise you, I'll put it in there. <laughs> but when it's it kind of like how. But you don't understand what I'm saying. We 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 tend to focus on we all do. the negatives yeah. and we we don't ever tout the successes from other people that were that in this industry yeah and i think i think that's that's a huge miss because positive reviews and negative reviews honestly like you'll never hear me say negative reviews are bad like obviously a ton of negative reviews are bad but one or two like that brings a lot of transparency to your page and that brings a lot more trust to your your page and your profile um but there is there's there's such an opportunity for us to thank each other more and for us to to be more grateful and to to share that with the world so that I can get more business because I'm doing a great job over here and and it helps me grow it helps everybody in the end. Yeah, you know, you sound like you're uh, you're touting me a lot. That's one thing I'm pretty good at is giving out praises uh, within the operation here, just making sure everybody knows uh, how valuable they are and what a, what a great job and value they bring to the company. I will say this. I do have a saying, especially when it comes time for review, annual for review. I always say, hey, praises, not raises. That's what, you know, that's, that is my little thing. I'll have some time you get to give some praises out. Hey, do you have an app? And if you do, you know, talk to us a little bit about that app. We don't have an app. We do have a website, so carriersource.io. And it really is, if you go to it, it's it's built as a, as a carrier prospecting tool. So brokers and shippers can sign up, carriers can sign up. Um, it's completely free for everybody to use. That's something that's really important to us mm -hmm. is we want to keep this database open. We want to keep this information uh, open for people to sign up and just, and just use the, the basic level because it really, we do really believe it'll help the industry become more efficient and continue to grow faster than it ever could without it. Um, but carriers have a profile page. Every carrier has a profile page that lists your FMCSA insurance info alongside your reviews, alongside all the information that people who have come in and claimed their page have given us. So that truck type, shipment type, preferred lanes, all of that. And then as a broker, you can go in and you can write reviews of the carriers you use, as well as find all the carriers uh, that, that you might need and, and make lists of like, okay, do not use this crew or, hey, this was a great New Hampshire to Maine uh, carrier, et cetera. So you can, you can organize that all, all on our site. So, so you're on the, so when you say you're the Yelp, so obviously you've got a, like a star rating, right? Because that's yeah. how Yelp does it. They all do it. I mean, you, you get like, oh, well, they're four and a half stars or they're three and a half. Is that kind of the same way y'all do it over there? And, and if so, explain a little bit about your rating and review system, but also tell us, uh, anything that sticks out in your mind, anything that's particularly done well, or anything that you've seen that you liked a lot? 
Something that I have been surprised by, especially after after coming into the industry and seeing the all the distrust that we were talking about, uh, there's a lot of positive reviews. Like people are excited to to call out their favorite carriers and the companies that they love the most, um, and that's been really just just good to see and, and nice to see. Uh, and then our reviews, we we have an algorithm that will sort based on recency and based on um, uh, star rating that the person gives, and that kind of sorts it into our carrier source score, which is what we're calling it. Um, so like that that Yelp star rating, uh, but carrier source score. Are are you gonna are the, are you thinking of ways to take this a little bit further, meaning integration into TMSs? Because as carriers, what we don't like is to go to this system and this system, this system. Is there any thought in integrating into say some of these larger TMS systems? So when we are talking to a carrier, we put a carrier in there. For example, it may come up with its with your score on it a four and a half star, which gives us some belief that number one, this carrier is real. You know, they're, yeah. they're, it's not a double brokered opportunity, but they're also a carrier that's been valued amongst other brokers or customer shippers or anything like that. Absolutely. You know, especially the bigger brokerages, like nobody wants their reps outside of their system. They want them all in their TMS. Um, so having, having the carrier score, score being able to funnel in there is, is definitely something that we're, that we're working on. We've had some conversations already. You and know, also, and I, I, I got something else for you, too, okay. on this, because these are real life problems that we have. And I love to share these with, uh, with, with folks like yourself that can make a difference. I just think there's ways, there's information that, that uh, y'all in that software world have that we don't have on, on, a, on a broker side of the business. And that is to help us identify possible carriers that may be fraudulent. Meaning a carrier may have three trucks and, and uh, they're picking up a load for us. But if they're picking up another load for 18 other people the exact same day, there's a good chance that, that they're doing something with that freight double broker because you can't pick up 18 or 21 loads of three trucks. To help the brokers, to help this industry identify those fraudulent folks out there. Yeah. Well, and we, we have, because of our extensive experience in review, we have a verification system that we have. And so, we're, you know, we ask people when they write a review, like, can you please share like a redacted confirmation so we know that you actually worked with them. So having the, the visibility there and, and the verification that we go through, like not anybody can write a review. We, we check who you are. We find you on LinkedIn. We make sure that you are who you say you are and that you conceivably worked with this carrier. So even one review, could tell you that, okay, this carrier is real, they did a load, I could consider them. That's right. And and if you're a and if you're a carrier, a good carrier, you, you want to be involved in this, right? I mean you want to make sure that you get there. And if you deserve a good rating, you want to make sure that you're in there and that people got have an opportunity to rate you as well, right? Yep. Yeah. And so and we intend to always keep that free and open. So carriers today can come in, everybody's got a page, you come in, you search your MC number, your DOT number, and, and you can uh, find your profile, claim it for free, and update all that information to put your best foot forward and start gathering those reviews also completely free. And where do they go, Claire, to get that done if they want to join that or join that page? Because you're telling us it's for free and an opportunity to be advertised. I don't think that's a negative in any for way. For free! For yeah. free! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it, so, so how, do they, how do they jump on board, Clara? Uh, they just go to carriersource.io and then uh, you can click sign up and it'll ask you uh, for your MC number and you can put that in and the page will be yours. All right. I'm going to keep, I, I feel like I'm expanding your business opportunity. I'm going to give you another one here. So, Thank because you. I just feel that if I'm a driver and I'm looking for a reputable trucking company or I want to get some dirt, some, is there anything good about this trucking company? I feel like, especially if it's free, that I should be able to log on your website, type in that trucking company, see what kind of reviews it's getting from the, from the brokers, from the shippers, from the, its peers, or whatever it is. Are you seeing much of that, or, or is that maybe a, uh, a later on kind of thing? Uh, absolutely. Anybody can search the site and can prospect, even without signing up. So you could go on today and you could look at every single company that, that you might want to work for and, and start finding reviews on it and start reading all their information. Uh, you don't even have to sign up at all. Um, we are seeing drivers come to the site and we have gotten a couple um, 
messages from drivers just being like, hey, what have you heard about the company? Do you like them, et cetera? So that's that's another opportunity that we're thinking about is like, how can we how can we facilitate the connection between the driver and the carrier as well? Gotcha. So if Drive Safe Dave were to log into that website and become a member of this and he logged in and noticed that he had a one star what are you doing? I want to hear this kind of specific. What are you doing with Dave to, to number one, let him know that, hey, you're a one-star person, um, and then help him erase that or answer messages to get those stars, I guess, or that, that rating increased? What, what are you doing to help him? Absolutely. So a one-star rating, first we would we would rest assured, drive safe, Dave, a one-star rating is not the end of the world. Uh, it's actually a good thing. It's a wonderful opportunity for um, customer service for making your business better and also for driving some trust in your in your page because if I go to a page and I see all five star reviews I might be like I don't know that that's probably crap people are unreasonable you know there's there's somebody's gonna have a bad experience um, but if I go to a page and it's four and a half stars out of five then I'm like okay there are people leave, you know this is real people are um, so I would say rest assured you know a negative review is not a bad thing I'd encourage you to respond to it um, take a minute to, to to read the feedback. Is it real? Is it reasonable? Do do we do you owe them a, an apology, or is it you know like they just were having a bad day and you all did did everything you could and you provided a great service and they were reasonable? Either one, we still respond and say, hey, thanks so much for the feedback. You know, we're uh, you address the problem and then you know please please consider us again. Um, and then on top of that, we would help you drive more reviews from the customers that, that you are working with. And, and the more reviews you have, the, the better that star rating gets. So we believe to, you know, we never remove a review because that, that destroys the transparency of the whole site. We verify everybody, like if they worked with you, if they have a bad experience, then that review stays, but it's a good opportunity for you to, to potentially get a repeat customer that you might not have had had they not taken the time to share that review. Um, because you can respond and fix it and tell them how you're going to make it better. Claire, let me ask you a question. And obviously, we're talking about carriers here. When when are you going to open up the page on the brokers out there and and create their reviews? When are you going to talk about the shippers out there? And 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 are they good shippers? I mean, I'm just going to. Is that a good shipper to go to? What kind of ratings are that? Or do they hold my driver there for three days trying to get empty? I, I'm just saying. Are, when are we going to get the other pictures of the other things in this industry? A hundred percent, because it, it's it's only fair, and we've been thinking about that a lot. Like, there should be broker profiles, shipper profiles, all that. Uh, so that's something that we're looking at in Q1 of, of next year. We're still we're still laying some groundwork here for for the the core product that we already have, but uh, definitely something that we're looking at in the next few months. I feel like we should be part of this board. I want you to know we don't have to be co-founders, but we are asking a board seat for certain. Yeah, absolutely. We want to be able to just you call it call out something, and we just hold up a one through ten, right, Rick? We just have we have scorecards, and we just hold them up one, two, three, four stars, and that way you know what the real experts think, right? Don't you think so, Rick? I, I, I like that. I'll throw one more out there because it's another valuable thing, and and. And I think you're already doing it again is to is to rank some of those truck stop locations, which ones just aren't clean, which ones aren't uh, don't have the right parking, don't have the lighting, all of these things. I love what y'all are doing. First, Dave, we're going to rate these drivers at at these trucking companies first. But other ideas we've given you all plenty. I think you're uh, you're at least covered for the next decade or so. So you're you're welcome on that. Hey, Claire, we we want to thank you for coming in and talking to us. You know, this segment's uh, really about ladies out there making a change, doing something in our industry. And you know what? You don't necessarily just have to drive a truck. You can do Mm -hmm. so many things in this industry. It's a huge, wide industry. And it sounds to me like you've jumped in with both feet. Congratulations for jumping in here and and joining joining the logistics groupie. Welcome. We welcome. You're approved. (laughs) Sir Rick approved. How about that? All right. Before you go, Claire, i got to ask two things. Number one, how do we reach out and get a hold of either Carrier Source or you to, to, to learn more about this? Carrier Source, you can find it's carriersource.io. And then me, my it's just my first name, at carriersource.io for my email. So Clara oh. at carriersource.io. Please email me. Happy to hear from anybody. Love the talk. What, what, does I, uh, what does that stand for? I don't Hold on. Don't uh, say it. Don't say it. Drive safe, Dave. This is a, bo- this is a bonus we're going to give out to, to Claire. What is, the, uh, what, what is it, I.O.? It means the amount of money that you have to pay back to somebody else because that's what he owes. Right? I mean, that was cute, David. That was cute. Isn't it? 
You owe. He owes. Uh, and, and, all right, Claire, before you get out of here, we want you we want you to state your name, who you're with, and that you're watching BCB Live, the safest station in the nation. Can you do that? I can do that. My name is Clara Flaherty. I'm with Carrier Source, and you're watching BCB Live, the safest station in the nation. Woo! Great job, Clara. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you in Women in Trucking next week, okay? See you there. Can't wait. Thank you. Look forward to it. Bye-bye. All right. Drive safe, Dave.